हेलो एवरीवन एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर कमिंग फॉर आर ओपन डे एंड आई नो दिस टाइम इज पोस्ट लंच सो वील मेक इट क्रिस्प एंड वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग फॉर यू ऑल एंड हाउ मेनी ऑफ आज हेयर लव शूज हाउ मेनी ऑफ आज हेयर लव शूज आई थिंक मोस्ट ऑफ आज एंड आई एम वृंदा and i myself am an ex student of taf tc i did my diploma here and now i'm a trainer here and i've been running my own business since the last few years so i've been into footwear for almost 10 years now okay so um okay just to just to start you know we want to show the importance of footwear how it's increasing you know it's even outpacing a parallel growth in the last few years as you can see like sport shoes and even dress shoes is is outpacing the growth of the apparel in the last few years the uh, singapore is ranked sixth highest in terms of global footwear revenue market that number says it all that how important footwear as a category in fashion is coming up to be and we've generated 892.3 million uh, usd dollars in 2018 the local footwear brands in singapore so uh, coming up to footwear trends and innovation uh, so footwear like you know we have uh, footwear is no longer like okay we have uh, you know you wear it's becoming more of a lifestyle need and everybody needs different shoes for different occasions so even if people are going to the gym they are using the same shoes for play so now there's a new category called athleisure which is athletics plus leisure then there are bespoke shoes which is basically your made to order made to fit shoes because people are getting more and more uh, you know particular about what they're looking for and then of course there is a lot of increased interest in 3d modular uh, you know 3d printing and things like that in footwear so this is an example of athleisure which people are wearing nowadays even for with the dress shoes they wear these kind of shoes and go out those are we spoke and this is something an example of how technology is coming up in shoes uh since sg50 which is 2015 there's a huge uh, makers movement happening in singapore where local brands are really being you know something people are looking forward to as well as people are looking for handcrafted stuff done by artisans in singapore as well so uh, th uh, there's an increased respect for made in singapore we spoke goods the government is doing a lot to support all these kind of uh, people so that's why we have uh, design orchard has anyone here been to the boutiques fair so you know you will see a lot of the amount of talent that the local singaporean designers have you can uh, see that one place and the government is supporting it there's a uh, there's one makers group singapore makers public gardens uh, design orchard is obviously one of the most prominent structures opposite h&m uh in orchard where the government encourages local talent to come and showcase their products and their merchandise okay how many of you here are familiar with taf tc or is it your first time first time okay so just a brief introduction uh we have been training the industry since 1983 our courses are designed specifically so that to make you ready for the industry uh as you can see uh we've been training in uh, the industry not only in singapore but other countries as well uh from new york to mexico to jakarta we we are training the industry uh we'll show you some companies that we are working with so uh try using the keyboard yeah i think that's better it's not working Okay these are some of the brands from LVMH to Robinsons we work with all of these as industry partners and train their employees as well We have a lot of networking events where you get an opportunity to interact with industry players as well as you can see in the pictures here Okay now so what is the main difference between TAF TC and the other schools If you go to a, a proper like a, a fashion college where it, the, the course is almost for three years, while TAF TC is covering it in four months, especially because we are very you know we are very focused, we are very specific. It's very comprehensive our courses, and we are we are focusing a lot in portfolio building as well as giving you industry opportunities. 
and uh, you know like there are life skills which we feel that most of you already have them and we are just focusing on industry specific skills to make you ready for to start your own business or for a job in the in the fashion uh, industry most of our trainers actually apart from you know having the degree and uh, all of that they are also industry players they are very relevant they are coming directly from the industry so they will be sharing a lot of experience from what they have learned in the industry with you all our curriculum is very holistic it's you know it's not no it's not only about doing the theory we do a lot of hands on stuff we do hands on construction we have case studies which as a group you will work together in groups you'll come and present to the class and you know there's a lot of brainstorming which goes on it's a very blended learning approach it's not only you know just doing the theory and that's it it's done So this is a first of its kind course developed in conjunction with Ars Sutoria in Milan. This is one of the most prestigious design, uh, footwear and accessory design school in uh, Milan. I myself had the privilege to go and study in Ars Sutoria, and then I came back and I studied again at Taft TC. And the same professors are coming as a similar kind of course learning. So it's a it's a great school that uh, collaborates with Taft TC, and together they bring this course to you. So we are very lucky to actually have this in our in Singapore itself. So like I said we are uh, trained by industry professionals we have uh, trainers like Polo who actually train Nike and Adidas and they also in the industry for so many years we have Misawa who's a bespoke master he's like a shoe artist who comes and holds his bespoke classes in Singapore uh, we have Richard Sicardi who I have had the privilege to study from as well as you know when I started my business I went and I took all my samples and I was literally like please tell me whether this is okay whether the fitting is right and you know they are so selfless that they actually come and encourage you they tell you what even after the course is over it's not like oh it's done it's over you know they they always encouraging you and he has his own consultancy for footwear in Milan and uh, we have Sergio who spends 6 months in Italy 6 months in China so he has a lot of industry experience so he's at the groundwork where the footwear is actually manufactured in both the countries and he does pattern making and of course there's myself but more on me later Sorry. is okay okay um uh, okay so the diploma in footwear design and product development what we are all here for we are it's 15 modules and look at the number of hours we are completing it in 458 hours so even though it may look like oh it's only two and a half months it's a pretty intense course and we have to be pretty dedicated and pretty uh, you know into it when we are doing it because the classes run from 8:30 to 6 but it's very relevant to the industry and it's it's going to really cover a lot of aspects which are important for footwear so those of who who are seeking a customized uh, ex learning experience you know it's not possible to do everything maybe at once then we have these bite sized modules uh, and uh, you know we we cover it all like you can do one module and then after some time you can do the other so it's like it all fits together like like you know together and we cover all these different uh, it's like a 360 de uh, 360 degree approach to learning we starting from identifying leathers to making patterns for footwear uh construction and you know i myself and an entrepreneur being uh construct making my own shoes like i'm my own uh, manufacturing i realize that every single aspect here is so important and so uh, you have to know all of it and maybe not like so in depth also but at least if you have an idea and you know you cover the basics in the course it's very easy to kind of when you're doing your own business or even when you know you, know, you look at a footwear your whole perspective is going to change after you do this uh we are so we have modules like identify and analyze where we are not only studying about different materials we the the prof, uh, the trainer will actually come with a whole box of materials different different leather which you can touch feel see you can ask like 100 questions how granular it is how it is and you know you can you can actually feel all the different kinds of leather that we use for making footwear and the non leather stuff as well uh a footwear may look like a very simple thing but actually each footwear has so many components so many things which we actually goes into the making of shoes so hence uh, this is this particular module is going to uh, cover all the different parts of a footwear which you will not only study but also get to touch feel and see how it's like 
then identify and analyze at athletic shoes this is another module which will be covering so especially athletic shoes are becoming very important nowadays because people are wearing it at all all places most important in a shoe of course we all love like beautiful looking shoes but unless it's fitting you well not giving you a shoe bite and all those things so we go into the depths of what makes a shoe comfortable we have we actually do fittings we make people wear different sizes and then make them walk and see how exactly we can work and improvise on the footwear comfort uh then of course the foot uh, especially when you go on the entrepreneurial side or even if you are working uh, in a job you need to obviously know the different aspects of doing the costing that goes behind footwear so this is one of our trainers richard and here we are doing like uh, you know how we can cut the patterns and do the costing and all of that the of the footwear these are students and then sketch sketch is something i would like to speak about here especially because a lot of us may think oh i have never even like drawn a simple thing how am i going to sketch a footwear but you can trust our trainers they are so good that literally it's like taught in such a way that by the end of it you can sketch like this this is done like by our uh, own students it's literally from scratch it's like it's taught in such a methodical manner with all calculations and all that uh, you know you make lines and stuff and you can actually make this i myself can make this now and now and you do it over a week and in a week's time you realize oh it is pretty much simple to do it then also draw digital footwear again in spite of being in the footwear industry for more than 10 years i did not know how to draw on photoshop on illustrator i had no idea you know i'm like oh i just want to draw on a paper pencil you know but here they teach you in such a way that you can actually uh, do this so this is one of the videos it will explain how you draw it on the computer it's obviously a lot a lot slower lah but yeah, yeah. yeah. it's my yeah, we just speeding it up <laughs> yeah then create footwear patterns uh uh here we are basically as you know a footwear is like a 3d thing so how we do a, a convert a 3d to a 2d and then again back to a 3d like different types of even the simplest of shoe has different patterns so we're going to study that as well so this is a shoe last we cover it with a masking tape and then we draw on it the patterns we would like and then we flatten it out and then again we put it back into 3d as complicated as it may sound it's not at all and our trainers are going to handhold us and we'll realize that there's so much that we can learn and so much it's so much easier to do then of course the very interesting construct where we will actually use you will not be able to believe that you can actually construct shoes and uh, uh, and which you can even wear later very comfortable leather shoes you can make as per your sizes and stuff so uh, we do men shoes coat shoes just a word of caution that please for the, the ladies especially don't go for a manicure just before the construct module because you will be we have to put in uh, use a lot of glue put in the nails but trust me it's it's very interesting and uh, very good it's very exciting actually to create to to be able to really create so uh, we use we'll be given the patterns you have to stitch the upper then you will be lasting it on the shoe last and we assemble the components together and then we kind of make the shoe and in the end we actually evaluate our own shoe how good it is what we can improve how the fitting can be better so it's a very practical and a very hands on sort of a learning experience not that only we are just doing the theory so this is like uh, i think the pictures are pretty self explanatory we are stitching we have a very nice lab at uh, 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 of ours at thaiong where which is a footwear lab where you can actually go and you know we have all the different different machines so it's a very hands on learning experience we perform shoe lasting again something which i did for the first time and it was a lot of fun we assemble the components of the shoe together that's like we're just buffing the shoe finishing so all these machines are ours at thai hong center we have a lab then we evaluate the workmanship of your own shoe so here's again a video to explain the whole shoe making process and So these are the different types of leather which we use the patterns and we cut them All these machines we use to make the leather thinner 
the uh, the sewing machine for the shoes is different from the sewing machines for uh, clothes so it's intense but it's a lot of fun and it's very very hands on you're applying the soles lot of hammering nailing but and that's a completed shoe which trust me you can actually really wear it will be so comfortable you can actually be able to make your own size <coughs> this is polo Okay then of course after we know how to construct and when we learn the entire process you know just like a towards the end it's almost the finale modules you will also learn how to manage a footwear brand what goes uh, into footwear uh, into shoe buying you know merchandising buying so this will help you prepare if you're looking to be a footwear buyer so i used to work myself at zalora as a footwear buyer and these kind of modules really help you in uh, those kind of uh, profiles then this is the finale to everything where you develop your own footwear collection based on whatever you think that you know you want to make if you feel there's a gap in the market or you may identify that okay this exists this doesn't exist so we go we do lot of market research we visit the malls we do online research we see what people in mrt stations are wearing we go as actually stand there observe make our notes come back so it's not literally like oh you just have to do a project and then you do a project where you are actually thinking that okay you develop a brand you put together a footwear collection which is going to cover all the aspects different 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 aspects of the footwear and then you present to the class so it also gives you that confidence to put your idea out there and then you get feedback from the trainers and a lot of the people actually end up making it into real brands you know like at least it it gives you that that push that okay this is something that i want to do and then it gives you an idea it gives you a very good direction because you'll come up with a mood board and all those things So if you're looking for something more different from our footwear diploma we have like I was mentioning Misawa is a is a shoe artist from Japan who conducts these bespoke classes uh it's pretty intense these classes and uh, you study the art of footwear making and also the Oxford shoes is what he specializes in which you can actually go and learn from him hands on So we have more than 20 programs we are uh, we have professional short courses the WSQ short courses we of course have the full diploma the full module which prepares you which gives you a very holistic approach and the master classes like Miss Awas which you can just go and do So apart from what are the additional benefits that the students really like is we have a like I was mentioning this is an example of our lab so many machines and you don't have to know anything in advance everything is taught in class So if you don't know how to use the machine of course they they we are teaching you everything hands on right there uh of course we used to do over trips uh, overseas trips to milan and china but of course given the current situation those things will not happen but there there is enough there's a lot in india in indonesia we can discover more places to take our students to see exactly how footwear is made what are the uh, what are the factories which look like and if they want to start you know importing from there and things like that to go and see and explore uh that's our ce uh Do- ms doreen tan and you of course get to meet her she's it's lovely to meet her and then all these networking sessions that we have and last but not the least we have these uh, amaz- this amazing opportunity to be a part of the boutique fair i myself my brand got an opportunity to feature at the boutique fair thanks to taft tc they sponsor your uh, stall which costs almost up to $2000 so this is a great push and you know I could launch my brand in Singapore because of that, and then it, it's always a great success because that, that's a fair that attracts a huge crowd in Singapore. It's at the F1 Pit Building. 
Uh, okay, a little bit about myself since we're talking about, you know, how we can use what we have learned into reality. So this is my brand teal. Okay, my brand teal. Uh, so uh, I am basically uh, the founder of teal. I started doing shoes about 10 years back. I literally nosedived into it by starting my own retail store. Then I started working with Zalora as a fashion buyer. Then I was trading with China. And then finally, I was like, I wanted to learn the in-depth of shoemaking. And that's how I went to our Satoria in Milan and then discovered that the same course is in Singapore in Taft TC. I came here and did my diploma. And I, and I just, uh, uh, I started working with artisans in, uh, sorry, just one second. I started working with artisans. Okay. Okay, I started working with artisans in India and started my own manufacturing setup. So now I have my own brand and I manufacture for brands in Singapore and in and, in and around. Um, so yeah, that's about me. And Teal is a brand of all colorful, fun footwear, all handcrafted. And this is a video of how we do shoe making at Teal. So this is directly from our own workshop where... Oh. I think there must be some kind of animation setting. Yeah. Like that. yeah. So this is how, you know, literally using everything that I learned at FTC. The sketching to uh, pattern making, working with these artisans and directing them, checking if everything is going fine. We are handcrafting shoes. I think that's the video or no, some more? this is more. Sorry. sorry about this, yeah. Uh, okay, Seems no, there's some uh, sort of a technical... Yeah, sorry, I just can't do this. Yeah. No, but there's nothing on the screen there. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Uh, okay, now. <laughs> yeah, I think now. Can. Okay. Okay, I think you guys got a Sorry. glimpse of what uh, we do from basically sketching to pattern making to handcrafting the shoes with these. And uh, the journey so far has been that I've been able to manufacture shoes, like I was saying. Uh, we've been in Fashion Week in India and uh, we've been featured by Cosmopolitan India last year as one of the top 30 brands in India to look out for, for accessories. But still, it's a journey which is in progress. And of course, the most important to be a part of the boutique sphere in Singapore, thanks to Taft TC and Launch My Brand and now being a trainer here. Uh, some of the other, uh, other students who've launched brands in Singapore, so don't worry, it doesn't have to be only overseas. They, uh, Olia is one, another brand which is uh, launched. It's, uh, uh, she's, a, she's also an ex-student who's launched her brand. These are success stories. Uh, most interesting, Gina, who has her own workshop in Singapore. Very interesting, she does customizable heels, meaning you can have like heels, it can be a flat shoe which turns into a two inch heels, which turns into a four inch heel. So it's like one shoe, but three uses. Very, uh, she has her own workshop in Singapore. And these are some other brands that we have. Uh, we, uh, they do uh, men's loafers and uh, Oxford shoes. So those of all who don't want to go to the entrepreneur route, we also have a lot of jobs. We have tie ups with an industry. There's place like industry placement options. You can, uh, Pedro is always looking out for designers. Charles and Keith is looking out for designers. There's Zalora, Michael Kors, all these brands. And these are the different opportunities. These are the various roles that one could apply for. So it's like merchandiser from designer to technician to visual merchandiser. You can apply for all of these. And we help you. You know, even after you graduate, we keep sending out uh, mails saying that, okay, this is an opportunity which has come up. Would you like to to uh, apply. I think from here Gabriel's going to take over. Alright, uh, I think we can give Rita a nice round of applause. Thank you. Where is it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. This is new. Hmm. Yeah, alright. 
I think it's really amazing, like her journey throughout the entire process of what she's gone through, what she's going through, and how she's continuing to build her brand, her identity, and of course her future with footwear. But that's about her. I'm more interested in what you guys have to think and what you guys want. So, Tap DC is just one option for you guys to consider. Right, you gone. You, you you took you took a look through what we have to offer. You took a look through at our courses, at how we helped you, how we, our CE is around you. If you can use your feedback, you know things like that. But let me just cover the course fees and really help you all understand exactly what you're doing, and how where this is going for you guys. Um, any international students in the house? All right, next slide. Okay, so Singaporeans, right? Singaporeans, aged. 39 and below, NPRs, they are already naturally eligible for 70% subsidy, right? So this 70% subsidy is automatic, like you don't have to apply for it, you don't have to do anything for it, it's, it's automatic, okay? Um, the remaining fees payable would be this 7,000 plus, uh, because for today's open house incentive, we're going to be providing $192.60 application fee reimbursement, so you can just take that and minus away $192.60, okay? I'll just cover all the different categories of the subsidies first before I go in further into what other options there are available for you guys. Okay, Singaporeans age 40 and above get 90% subsidy. So, the same thing, it's automatic, don't have to apply for it, it's just automatic. The second you say that you're 40 and above Singaporean, it's already here. Unfortunately, PRs, you're stuck with the 70%, so this won't be eligible for you guys. Um, the next will be the 95% subsidy, which is for individuals under with the WTS letter. So this, uh, these are for individuals age, Singaporeans age 35 and above, earning less than 2,000 gross per month. So this is obviously meant to help these lower income groups upskill and reskill to really forge a better future for themselves. Right? So for those who are, of you who might be a little bit iffy about this, you can actually give WTS a call and ask whether you are eligible for this 95% subsidy. So the remaining fees payable will be this 1008 Right? One thing that's not mentioned here is that will be the next slide, which is this train and place, earn and learn, place and train program. I know it's a bit confusing, so let me just refer to it as internship and place and train program, okay? So the train and place is basically an internship program that is meant to get our graduates industry level experience in an internship in the, in the footwear industry, footwear company, right? So that's one way that we help you guys get a foothold in, within this industry. The place and train, you can think of it as the opposite. So the train and place internship is right, you study first, then you get a job, right? The place and train is a swap. So you get a job first and that company sends you for training with us, right? So that can be in a, in a, diff a whole lot of different ways. Let me just delve into the internship train and place, okay? So total is a 10 month program where you will first obviously study with us and attain the diploma. Then following that, you will have a two month internship with a footwear company and obviously opportunities to be employed by the host company. So let me show you guys with a short illustration about how it all works out. So okay, two and a half month diploma, two month internship, and then five months of a minimum service period where you have to work full time in the fashion industry. Okay. On top of this, you also receive a training allowance that is actually provided for your own expenses, right? So for this internship, people, you actually get a total of $5,000 of training allowance that will help you offset the cost fees that you put inside when you first paid for the cost fees, right? But there are terms, of course. Um, this is our policy for everything. You have to meet at least 75% training hours attendance for all our classes to be able to graduate from them. All right? More than or equal to 40 working hours per week and less than or equal to two days of MC with the internship company and then service period of five months. And next is the place and train. So this one, assuming you find a job, a job placement, and then you get sent for training with us. Okay? So same thing. Let me just go into the illustration. So you do on-the-job training while you complete your WSQ diploma. So you, let's say you find a job in, for example, Charles and Keith, and then they want to, they, they are really impressed by your resume, but you are lacking in terms of footwear experience. So they send you here with us to go through our entire diploma through, the, through, uh, through this place and train program. Okay? Yeah. 
Basically, that's it. Okay. Same thing, more than or equal to 75% attendance for training hours, and the minimum service period is 12 months. Right. So, the train and place, place and train programs are only for those Singaporean citizens with minimum O level certification and not in ownership of any registered businesses. Okay, so that's the different terms and conditions. And regarding those fees you all saw earlier, we do have these different schemes that will help you guys out, as I'm sure you guys know. So one of them is the skills switcher credit, where right now you have $500, but in October you have another additional $500. Those above $40, you have another, another $500. So this is something that you can really utilize to really upskill and reskill yourself and really take a foothold you know, in the fashion and footwear industry. For those slightly younger folk, we still have the PSEA, where you can actually use your PSEA account balance to actually offset the course fees for our courses. And for those NTUC members, right, you can claim up to 50% kept at $250 per year of, uh, of our courses. Okay? After completion of this diploma, right, you know you already, spent, you already gone through the entire thing, you went through the entire journey with us. They actually, we actually awarded with this $1,000 SkillsFuture Qualification Award, and it's actually a cash award, okay? so it's not like it goes into some SkillsFuture credit account or something. So you're actually given this award to be rewarded for your pursuit of obviously continuous education and in this diploma. Okay? As I'm, I'm sure you guys know, there are also perks for today's open house incentives. Uh, one of them is obviously the reimbursement of the $192.60 application fee for our full diploma, which means assuming if you sign up within this today or the following two weeks, you'll get this 192.60 reimbursed back to you. Or if you're just looking for individual short courses, which you can also take a la carte, you will actually get $12 at $0.84 application fee waiver off those modules. Okay? Yep. So with that, I want to end our presentation for the footwear diploma. And I also want to just raise up any questions that you guys have, because I'm sure there are quite a few. I already have one from April. It was, hey, okay, yeah. Okay, I think this is a, this is a really good one. Now. Okay, so... You all know our trainers are Italian, right? And Italian from Milan, which is in the north of Italy. You see where I'm going with this. Um, yeah, so recently, like last week, it just happened last week where Singapore announced a ban for all trainers, all, all people coming from northern Italy, which obviously affects this full diploma, which is starting in the end of this month. Um, so we've already taken, obviously, a lot of actions, a lot of precautionary measures for this. We really saw this coming. So we actually have substitute trainers involved. So those will be Singaporean trainers that, we've, uh, that we have, substitute trainers, including, of course, our lovely Vinda. Right? Substitute trainers involved. For those modules where maybe we, are, we still want to utilize the Italian trainers, we will actually reschedule those modules and push them towards the end of the diploma. Right? So that's what we are, we've been doing to actually keep up with this, with this of course. But Right now, it's a bit of a volatile situation, so we are still arranging everything for all of, all of us. But you can guarantee, a bit rest assured, that the quality won't be compromised, the schedule won't be compromised too much, right? So that it will still work out. Okay? And we will also have webinars with mm. our trainers. So, you know, it will be like some of it, some part of it may be webinars, some part of it may be live, depending on what. Mm. Yeah, we've been, we are working to do webinars, maybe webinars with the Italian trainers, with a co-trainer, Singaporean co-trainer in the, in the footwear lab, or maybe without even a co-trainer. So we are really looking at all these alternatives and we are really planning to get a tutorial about how this is going to work out. Um, next question, during training, are materials provided? Okay, it's anonymous, so I won't call you out. Um, yes, leather is provided, so you won't have to purchase your own like, stock of like 10 meters of leather to come down for our courses, it's provided. But you will have to bring like basic stationery like pen knife, you know, pen, marker, things like that, like, you know, nothing too out of the ordinary. So you also won't have to come to class with a hammer in your backpack and a, and a, a nail, nails in your pocket, okay? So that won't be necessary, okay? So heavy stuff, we got you. Just a bit of stationery on your own personal stationery, we just need that from you. For future, if you want to make your own shoes, can we use the shoe facilities? Depends. You can use our facilities if you're going to use, for, use it for, for example, making a prototype. 
right? You want to pick a prototype to see, you want to present to somebody, you want to use it for manufacturing purposes, or want to show it off to maybe uh, your investor or something, sure, you can use our shoes uh, facilities for the machines, the tools, etc. But if you tell me you want to come in every week on Thursday afternoon and just use our shoe machine and help and repair your shoe or what, then uh, no lah, okay? That one, a bit realistic, reasonable lah, okay? So it has to be obviously like, Industry related, it has to it has to further your 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 business goal, your industry goal, or something like along those lines, uh, You know, so if you're coming to us, like, want you really really, really want to repair shoe or what? Then uh, we don't. But if not, feel free to use our machines. Give us a call, book an appointment, not book the room. Make sure there's no classes happening. Make sure that you know you sign the forms, uh, indemnity forms, and then you're more than happy to you know to let you guys use the room. Yeah. Any other questions that maybe? People don't want to send through the app, or is it like, you know? Any other questions about the footwear? Yes, please. Uh, it's not for the footwear, but I think it's the same question. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so considering our skill development uh, credit to be you know, given to us from October, mm. so is there any way we could still make use of those without having to come up with cash first? Unfortunately, that's <laughs> not a way, unless I take over budget 2020. <laughs> I can't really do that for you. They say October, it has to be October. I can't push it up forward any, any sooner. Is there any way that it can be like, maybe paid first and then reimbursed with, with later on credit? Unfortunately, you cannot. Because SkillsFuture credits uh, has to be paid, claimed at least 60 days before the start of the course. So, unfortunately, that's not possible. <laughs> la. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. But you can think of it as additional opportunity to continue learning. You know, just continue your learning, really take a charge of those extra 500 or 1,000 credits. Just take charge and really continue your learning in any industry or in any course, you know? Yes, sir, you have a question? No? Oh, is it, is, is sure? Um, yes? Um, I'm saying that with new software, right, like the company, so a bit of old company, right? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, no, no. Okay, so what about the new software? Computer and software is provided. So. For uh, you, for those using uh, Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop, it's provided by us. We will bring those around and put it there, and set it up for you. So you won't have to worry about that. You have to purchase your own software or computer or bring your own stuff. But obviously, if you want to do your own notes, bring your own computer, bring your own tablet, bring your own smartphone, it'll be a bit more efficient, lah. Okay. Hey, hi guys. Uh, thank you so much for uh, sitting into another session. Shows that you're very enthusiastic about. Uh, the bags too, that's interesting. So, uh, hi, I'm Shweta and uh, I am an academic advisor with FTC and uh, I'm in charge of designing the curriculums, studying, doing the research, what is relevant and bringing the things to um, bags. So, um, footwear was my elder baby. The bags is actually my new baby. So, I'm sharing something about it. Oh. So, um, I think you know all about TFTC, so I will skip the, the slides. Um, uh, as you know, TFTC, uh, we've always believed that we get the things, what is, you know, so that's why, you know, when we started uh, footwear, then we started, students came asking us, why not bags? So then we started doing our research doing a lot of, uh, consulted with the industry, and that is where we actually design. It takes a time to, to design a curriculum and launch. And finding the right trainers. Yeah, so it took us time, but yes, we did it. So the current program, we are actually, um, the modules we are bringing for bags, again, are based on our principles that we will t teach you what you need to know in order to do it. So it means, after doing our any of the uh, construct module bag, you will be able to sew bags. Yes, so that is our um, thing. So definitely, um, bags module will be one of our kind, like our footwear, um, unique. And we have also again designed with our partners, Asutoria. Yes. So, uh, just a question: How many like you like to have a bags? How many? Lost count. Correct. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. You know, in a world's average, uh, and and men know that women's have more uh, bags than the men's, or how? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. But you know what? You'll be surprised. Bag was not designed for women's at all in the beginning. It was for the men's. Yes, it was for the men's, 
and it's only af because they had to go barang barang women were always like not to take things with them it was men who had to take and then you know what happened in 17th century pocket pocket happened and you know when the pocket happens the bag men's like why do i need to carry a bag <laughs> yes and they stopped and after that what happened the woman is like ah oh, this is interesting piece i should carry and then since then women has taken over the market <laughs> correct so you see in a in a women's international day we are uh, yeah so we took the lead and it it, it came but yes definitely um, men's are back on track again yes our men's have become fashionable and you can see everyone carrying a nice bags you realize that even now you have a men's clutch bags yes so yes there is so yeah um so you can see that some bag designs are eternals i call them like you know prada this um, uh, nylon bag you still they're producing and it's still best selling um ms the brand which i think everybody wants to own a birkin bag or a kelly bag can do you know the cost of birkin or kelly bag you're not seen most of our uh, ministers have this bag <laughs> <laughs> you're not seen that it ranges from 25000 singapore dollars to half a million yeah that's birkin bag um kelly bag these are bag and these bags have a name based on the history because this french actress had asked a uh, person the uh, you know the owner of this that uh, your bags are no good i want something ba good bag where i can put my kids bottles and everything and that is where the birkin bag was born so you see uh, bags uh, and you realize that every time any of your first luxury purchase is always bag correct yes. normally you don't want to buy a a top from chanel mm -hmm. you will buy a chanel bag correct <laughs> so uh, that is why that is why the bag has a market of 67.9 million mm -hmm. correct and it is growing yes the the luxury brand awareness is growing there is a segmented uh, you know louis vuitton in shanghai in beijing alone has a business for lv of covering entire of europe market can you imagine and in europe also you have more of the chinese customer i cannot guarantee now in 2020 <laughs> but i am saying based on the 20 2019 specs you know so yeah so you know the tote bag is actually remains the the most popular 48% the leather uh, bags are also constitutes to 48% yes so yeah um, so bag has a lot of trends we still going with the classic luxury we still having you know men are interested i am so happy to see and you can see that it's not just the you know a backpack they they are having those suitcases suitcases for business look and a soft look as well and the clutch and messenger bags cross body bags you realize men are catching up okay and definitely we are going more fashionable because you know why sometimes if you're not going to do experiment with your dress you do easily experiment with your bags yes isn't this it happens so for weekends your bag is different when you're going to pasamala your bags are different when you're going for shopping you're doing it different for a wedding it's different yes yeah so can you tell me which is the most expensive bag in the world do you remember this <laughs> remember this yes balenciaga had done a similar concept correct and they were selling it at 2000 yes plus and then they come up with this get the original just for 90 cents <laughs> correct so that is why it suddenly there is a demand for bags because bags not only help us carrying our stuff yes it is no more a thing but it is also showcase our personality our mood our character our personality uh, you know so it is it gives us a overall look yes so you can see that singapore as well has grown up you realize lot of leather crafting a lot of people are wearing and on singapore i was like i was seeing the world states that every woman has at least six bags i was like for singapore definitely 10 or 12 higher <laughs> correct <laughs> yes <laughs> yes so this is what we want from our boyfriends yes 
<laughs> or husbands. Yes, so it's something. Yes, so you can see that uh, a lot of new brands are coming, but yet this area is still less explored. And you realize that now a lot of designer brands, the designer brands are not considered complete till they have their own bag collection or footwear collection. And this is a trend because they want to give the holistic thing to their, um, you know. So can you see that, like Rinda did a collection for some of the local designers for the leather. And they're also now looking for a partner who can do for bags. So you see, every brand, even if you are a designer, some of you just wants to be a designer. So now designer is just about doing the clothes. It's about giving an overall look, about styling. So it's not only the footwear, it's also the bag which matters. So yeah. So some of the startups of uh, Singapore, I think you must have seen. Yes? Don't know, huh? Don't go barang barang, don't go shopping shopping here. Yeah? <laughs> Yes, so there are um, brands which are coming up. Uh, Zalora itself has so much of in-house brands, actually. Yeah, and um, a very good gift for, uh, you know, to give it to your friend. Because you cannot go wrong. Dress, you give wrong size. Then your friend will think, ah, alamak, she think I'm so fat, correct? <laughs> but for bags, you cannot go wrong. Yes, so very safe option. Yes, you remember this bag? Cannot remember this bag? Yes, yes. This this bag made in. Ho so this picture was not about how Mich uh, Michelle Obama Obama is wearing such a nice dress or something. No, this got a media attention because of this dinosaur clutch. <laughs> Correct? <laughs> yeah, it's a pouch, but they call it clutch because of the way she's holding it. Yes, yes. So, uh, so so the so the news. So it was the bag who steals the show. Right? So uh, you imagine that how people are looking for personalized, looking for something, um, thing. So if you really think that, you know, a bag is something, uh, thing, uh, you have come to the right place. Because at FTC, we, of, we, have, we, are, we are launching a number of courses related to your bag journey. And we'll be launching a program, a diploma program in June. Uh, June. But we have a lot of short courses and master classes. So again, we believe that what we always believe at our CE say, when you're coming in, we don't want you to, you know, again, bring your hammer, everything with us, no. Just come with your open heart, your brain, and a little bit social media aloof because you wanted to focus in the class. Just, um, just give your best, and we will give you all the materials needed for you to do it. Yes? So we believe that even for materials and all, we provide all the things. So even for bags, our philosophy remains the same. Yeah? Um, so definitely, it, there's a lot of experiences. And then we actually led by industry professionals, so some of our trainers. So we do have a mixture of uh, Italian trainers, Japanese trainers. We have a local talent as well. So we have a local talent tech who actually won a bags design award issue. Yeah, uh, this, um, the Elena is actually from a bag industry. Uh, Martha as well is from the bag industry many years, and she's a designer. Uh, Tanya is uh, our local talent, and she's, she's into virtual. Um, and you can say uh, Suno, he's a Japanese bespoke. I will say he's a bag artist. His, his work, his, uh, his word is like an art. It's in itself. You don't feel like using it. You just want to put it in your drawing room. <laughs> Correct. Trust me. It's so beautiful. And perfectionist. Very, very perfectionist. So, yeah. So, so you know, you have a lot of careers. You can actually do a bag designing. You can be a bag buyer. You can be a proto developer. Be an entrepreneur. The good thing is, is you can actually match with your, if you are currently into something, it's easy to extend bag as one of your extension and as your expansion plan. So if you're looking for seeking a very customized learning experience, you are at the right place and in the right room. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the way we have designed our modules is bite-sized learning. Okay. They are bite-sized. And so you can actually, it's like a, a black block of Legos. You can actually join piece by piece and learn. Yes. So um, this programs, the entire uh, Back programs are all 90% flat, 
uh, subsidy that all the modules have 90% flat subsidy so which is something very unique about this program so you learn about leather because it's important that you know about leather before you make a bag how to identify you go somewhere how do you differentiate between synthetic or how do you do that and what kind of other materials you can use yes so and then before that because you know why leather you know you have a big place it is shown so it has to be a right place right piece because in the footwear you can cut from the given leather but for bag buying leather has a different mindset yes so we cover that um, components bag has components as well however it is not as complicated as footwear but you need to know correct and you need to know the terminology when you are going shopping you don't know what is this then how will you say so it has the uh, the entire thing we actually and different construction methods you should know where to use what to use so we talk about that and sometimes we also not only training that but we also train that example this is the perfect thing but it doesn't fit in your costing what can be the alteration or when, like you know if you are looking for not the perfect binding but you want to give this look what other construction you can use to give the same look but how you know you can still maintain the look so you can see that and um, definitely sketching you need to you do some sketching yes so you need to understand visualize yes uh, having your copy c and you know designing sometimes you know getting some ideas yes um, so yes we cover all the different kind of handbag so you can see that we do the this this is kind of thing you will do be able to do it trust me our trainers will make sure that you do it even if you are making a stay after 6 o'clock so be prepared but we make sure that you know whatever is taught you learn definitely we work with the templates but after some time we will um, you will be able to uh, uh, do it nicely um, we also believe that sometimes you do sketches but illustrator we teach you photoshop illustrator how to render your bags for example you want a bag and you like this but you want to see that how will it look in red blue to see visual so this comes very handy when you can actually show your bags and you can you can actually see it is looking good in like this in this color so you can actually visualize it before other than producing the you know so this is something adding the details in your sketch and your creating a line collection yes um this is a very important module we have actually added a virtual prototyping virtual prototyping is like you can actually create a 3d look of your, uh, of your bags uh, this is something which we we realize that in china people are widely using it if for example you are opening your block shop yes so it means you created you purchase you produce 100 bags and you putting online to sell that is how traditionally it is done but and then what happen like normally you will have some stock and then after that if it is not selling you have to like give sale and you are buying the you have to clear all your inventories but this one is if it is a nicely 3d design it will look actual you put it only based on the uh, if somebody wants to buy then you produce but it look realistic you cannot differentiate the way the outcomes is so yeah you can see like uh, literally um uh, wait ah uh, no it will i cannot the video will not work so so yes so that one will be actually you really create a a virtual bag uh this one and tr don't worry that i i'm not very good with it as long as you know how to off on computer <laughs> basic emailing correct and um i think we'll be able to help you correct don't worry and then this is all the construct modules we have tote bags um how to do so we are also involving pattern making to complete stitching you can keep those pat patterns so you can re again use them yes yeah, so you can have these patterns and um, it's also different techniques which we have incorporated so we actually design number of bags so this is a widely used bag yes um tote bag we having hobo because each bag has designed with the which teaching you different kind of methodology techniques used in 
um, bags. So you can see that you know the finishing of the belt, how you're adding the gathers, how you're accommodating the gathers. So we are so hobo bag is so again you will do pattern, you will cut, you will sew, and you will check. Um, this is how the hobo looks like. Correct. This is a typical lobo, but nowadays sometimes you know you have this also extending, like a bit thick hobo as well. And then um, even this bag, this yellow bag you are taking is also a hobo bag. Yeah. Yeah. So it's so now then we having a duffel bag because we have to give you a. Gazet, we need to teach you a gazet construction. So how you're creating a body inside, you know, you're creating a, a volume inside, yes. So how do we do that? Because it needs to, some stiffening things to make it look a bit stuff, yeah. This is a very common nowadays for men's as well. Realize? So, um, and especially, uh, mostly used for uh, when you're going for sports. And also this, this, this bag is quite used. Um, this kind of look. Now I say, yeah, now I, we can visualize, correct? Mm -hmm. What duffel bag, yeah? <laughs> yeah, more for men, but also for women, actually. Now the study look, you see Louis Vuitton is doing a pretty uh, thing for the study look. Where you're having the study look, so then the shape maintains. So we'll be teaching you this. Um, briefcase. We're not talking about the Louis Vuitton hardscape briefcase, correct? We're talking about soft look. Yes? Very, very common in men's and also very, very common in women's as well. Yes. So we'll be using it all leather products. You will be producing it using leather for these modules. So we, you can see that we are, we are teaching you a technique like, you know, pocketing, for example, you know. So every module has some techniques which you will be learning new. Sometimes people ask me, what is the difference? Like, how come we just take one bag, we can make another? No. There is a systematic way we are we are teaching you so different techniques, yes. So hard case, gusset, zippers, finishing, pocketing, extra creating extra volume. So every bag has a, its own story in its own way, correct? Um, patterns. So we having again clutch bags. So we'll be you'll be creating this kind of clutch bag, um, hand sewn. So um, there will be a combination of hand, hand stitching as well as machine stitching. Yeah. Um, then we having a small goods, your wallets. Again, um, they are very like, and we will have some variations on that. Back collection, again, we have a similar methodology that you will be creating your own based on the theme you want, market you want, you'll be creating a, we can, you can use your, by the time you are Photoshop already expert, so you will be using those or sketching, depends, yes. Um, so we also believe that only giving you a bag knowledge will not be enough. So we also accommodated some of the marketing related modules for you. So then in case, if you want to start your own bag journey, you need to know all these basics of uh, website, starting your own e-fashion business and starting and doing a little bit of marketing for yourself. So we actually equip you with all the social media market related uh, modules. You can actually uh, combine together. So uh, how do you do the media managements? Um, and then uh, you can actually do your journey. So other than that, we have um, equipped facility in Taihong. Currently, it's under renovation because we're making it more expanding big, bringing more bags related machines. Um, overseas trip, we'll definitely be planning overseas trips. And then we do always have a CE session. So in case if you're looking for um, any opportunities, we'll be very happy to help you. We really want to contribute to your success story because your success story as an entrepreneur is also success story Thing. I never know in after seven years we having an open house and one of you are here to actually deliver the bags because it is your story and it, it takes me so proud to, to say that you know our student is presenting because they made a career out of it and that's where we feel that FTC task has been fulfilled yeah so um, uh, we always give you opportunities like uh, if you you start your bag line and you want to launch it and you think you're fully prepared, we help you with the launch. Boutique Fair is one of the place we we take a whole area and showcase our students there. Um, 
So we are, we'll be launching a diploma program in June. However, you can still um, actually, um, uh, you can still um, uh, right now register modular courses if you want, because modular courses you can, you can still do it. And as you mentioned, you can still collect your modules at the end of the day. If you finish all the modules, you will be able to get a diploma program. Yes. So thank you so much for listening. And now my um, colleague uh, Wilson will be take over the the most important part, the money part. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's faster that way. Yeah. Hello. Okay, hi everyone. Uh, sorry for scaring you just now. Don't worry, my head is fine. The information is still in my head, not gone. Okay, anyway, like Shruta mentioned just now, right? So for the diploma itself, we'll be launching in June. But right now, we can't exactly sell it yet. But you can sign up modularly. So basically, you pick up the modules one by one. And by the time you finish all your modules, you will still get your diploma. No worries about that. Okay? Okay, cost wise. So now for all Singaporeans and PR, you will actually get usually 70% funding. But for this entire diploma, we managed to get you guys 90% funding. So you're saving a lot of money, 10%. That's good. So as you can see here, the total cost fee without your subsidy is actually $25,000 ish. So with all the subsidy, right, it will be $2,893. Yeah, so this is actually including application fee as well. So if you think about us, you know, like, you know this open house, we are giving some promotion, right? You're waiving your application fee. So you can minus $180 from there. So it's like a lot less money, which is great. It's the same for this one as well. So this is actually for people who are above 40 years old, but because we are giving 40% funding throughout, right? Cost is exactly the same. So you don't have to wait until you are 40 to pick up the diploma. You can do it now. No rush. Right, so WTS. So WTS is actually for people who are earning less than $2,000 and above 35 years of age. So for this one, if I'm not, I'm not sure if anyone uh, actually gotten a letter before. So it's actually from the government itself. Uh, it will actually tell you that, oh, hey, you're actually, Know, eligible for this program and you will be able to get up to 95% funding for all your courses. Yeah, so this will be the cost fee. It will be about $1,600. So we have the WTS letter, even better savings. Yeah. Okay, so just like the SHU diploma, we have other fundings available, including the SKILL Future credit. Um, so you still have $100, right? And then there will be another top up in October. So now $100, you can use that. For anyone uh, below 31 years old, you can use your PSA account or so. Yeah. Sorry, I had to rush through this a bit. Okay, so if you enroll today, we're actually giving an application fee waiver of 1284 per module. Okay, so if you actually calculate all the single, uh, every single module, right, add them together, you will save a lot of money, lah. But it's only for uh, today and two weeks after. But sorry, sorry, how many mm, seventeen. Not seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. yeah. So it's about hundred eighty plus dollars of. Yeah. Already done. We'll recognize that, and it will be part of your diploma. So you can actually do some modules now, and then you know, put it together. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 From the day our diploma will be launched, but you can still enroll now for modular basis based on your work the schedule. Yep. Okay, also, uh, if you sign up today for the full diploma modularly, we'll be giving out a free fabric care class. It's worth $277 and sponsored by our partner, Bansun. Right? Thanks. Okay, so if you actually scan this QR code right now, you will be able to uh, actually indicate your interest for the modules in the back diploma itself. So if you want to take a look, you can try scanning it now. It will lead to a formula, actually. Everyone okay? Is it working? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, it's okay lah. Uh, we can show it to you later also, so no worries about that. Mm. Everyone okay? Okay, 
So some FAQs. Uh, anyone have any questions about the BAX diploma? Hmm? Yes, no? Yes, Sorry, no? The yep. The list of modules, is it? Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. So for the diploma, uh, for this diploma itself, there are no prerequisites per each module. But for your better understanding, we always think that it would be good if you understand the basis of the bag itself. So like like how Shweta mentioned just now, if you understand the ladder first, you will definitely make a better bag, and you also won't get cheated if you make if you want to buy ladder in the future, like you know what I mean. Yeah. Then uh, you always want to learn about components first before even going into the bag design itself. So we recommend following the schedule as it is. But if you want to pick out individual modules and want to do some hands-on work, it's perfectly fine. It's just, we suggest doing it that way. So yeah. It's your journey, you can define, based on your thing. Uh, if you're working and you think that I'm going to take this month, three modules, two, three months modules, you can also do that. Mm -hmm. uh, so anyone has any questions? For no? Yes, so uh, for every module there will be an assessment, you will need to pass. Can I, can I explain on that? Yes. Since I designed, yep. so if you don't like the assessment, you can always you know, scream about it. <laughs> Think, um, the program, uh, the way we have designed the assessment is, is like, it's an open book assessment, and we are not going working on theory. Uh, your exam assessment is actually how you made your, uh, your bag, as the end product is evaluated. And, um, you, uh, how do, uh, do you understand the whole step and process? So it's a more practical assessment. It's not, so don't worry, no theory, no theory. Exactly. Theory, very, very limited. Something like what tools did you use for impacts, for example? What technology did you use for that? So I'm not asking you like PSLE based questions. <laughs> <laughs> there won't be any essay questions on the no essay, essays. No writing. Yeah. It's a very, like, you know, if it is a sketch, as long as you created a sketch and you understand that you have done it, and you are sending from your email address to the email address, you understand it. So don't worry. So far, nobody has died from a system. <laughs> <laughs> it is very safe and very easy. But you need to give your time. You just cannot miss classes. Trust me. You cannot just take like 75, we say 75, but these kind of classes, you know, every day, it's very good to catch up. But you just want your attendance. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hello. Uh, I'm in this uh, form, mm -hmm. so there are all the different modules. So um, like you just mentioned, right, so we the the diploma is not launched yet, so do we sign up? Uh, you can diploma? sign up as a modular first. Yeah, so we take, take all the modules here? Or yeah, that's right. That? Yeah. Mm. We can take them one by one? Yeah. No? no, you can take all the modules. Yeah. yeah. You can actually, lo you can apply as a modular all modules today, no problem. So we can just like do it, yeah. take all the modules, but we don't have to like do it all within that three months or something, right? Uh, as of now, the current dates that we have, right, uh, we only have this one intake this year. So if you want to take an intake in the future, we don't have a concrete schedule out yet. So you can indicate your interest, but you don't have to sign up for that module. We can always call you in the future and say, hey, the schedule is out. Do you want to sign up for that module in that date? Mm. So we can skip those, right? That's right. No, so that the so we have done some master classes. That is how we do. Normally whenever we want to launch anything, we do the pilot runs. So we actually launch some master classes to gather the interest, whether people are interested in the bags. So we actually did some of the uh, bag making classes here. I do two years and then some people attended and they, they found it very good and the feedback was good. We took a focal group discussion, what else they want to learn and what the back demand is. So that is why we designed the whole more programs. So I think you attended uh, uh, the tote back class. Uh, yes, yeah, I, I already made bags. <laughs> yeah, right. Ever take a look, ever take a look. I think it's a very interesting business. So that's what I'm saying. You can always diversify your platform, start your own brand, and uh, you know, customize your bespoke. You can actually do customize, customize your things and create uh, even like uh, based, event based, uh, festival based events. You can start, and you can always have a thing with 
this designer, you can actually say, okay, I can have my bag line. Yeah, you can go do collaborations. Collaborations. You know? Although people are not like, they're making only apparel. So you can introduce the concept of bags to their manufacturer for them. Uh, not necessarily, no. 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 I think you can also answer. Do you think that you have to invest a lot on the bags? Oh, I invest a lot on the tools. Tools. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Two separate in one cabinet. So you don't need a separate sample room for that. Yeah. Tools are, because you really need specific tools to do specific you reach that standard. You see, I tried not to use the specific tool, but you cannot attain that standard. So, end of the day, you just have to buy it. So but tools are yeah. not so that expensive. I'm going to cost you just a year of money. Just when you start something, you do have to put in some investment to get some quality. Mm -hmm. But it's a one time. And then hopefully you have to get a little bit of recovery. Yep. Uh, mm. so for the diploma, you have to finish all the 17 modules. That's right. So for some of us, let's say it's taken one of the 17. Then you can omit that module, so you don't have to take it again. So how does the same work? Because now you're paying for 17 modules or paying for the diploma? So, uh, right, so uh, if, you are, if you have taken one module, we actually take the, the cost of that module out of the total diploma cost. So you'll be paying exactly 16 module costs. Because the price of the food diploma is actually the cost of 17 modules added together. Mm. So everything will be adjusted, no worries. Okay, mm. we have time for one last question. Any more? Okay, great. All right, so uh, everyone, if you don't mind, you can actually scan the feedback form to leave any feedbacks if you want. Then if you want to create a student account and maybe sign up for courses, you can sign up through that QR code. Oh, then it will be the same one. Same one. Mm. Yes, you are actually considered existing student now.